The pandemic is impacting so many, including one local woman. She's paying the price now for a selfless act she performed years ago. News Channel 9's Madison Moore sat down with a 9-11 volunteer to see how the pandemic is affecting her. The morning that the towers were hit, I was at work. Marsha Krell, a Syracuse native, was a Red Cross national responder when the terrorist attack on 9-11 happened. And it wasn't until years after returning home, she came down with severe respiratory issues from the toxins at Ground Zero. I think it was 2003, um, I suddenly had trouble breathing. It went on from there. Um, slowly over time. But that didn't stop Krell from pursuing her passion. She continued working at Krell's hospital, that is, until the COVID-19 pandemic hit. I wasn't willing to take any chances because in my, between my age and my health, um, I considered it a death sentence. For the past 11 months, she's found herself in and out of work. And like so many who are at a high risk, Krell was concerned for her safety. Really, it was terrifying to leave the house. And wearing the N95 mask didn't make it easier given her health. Krell doesn't take the title of 9-11 responder lightly, but she's hoping it can protect herself and the community. The fact that I was a 9-11 responder, I don't throw that around. <laughs> you know, I don't say, well, wait a minute, you don't understand. My lungs are compromised. I can't stay here. A lesson for everyone is the pandemic is still far from over. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Marsha Krell tells us she will be among a group of frontline workers getting vaccinated tomorrow afternoon at Upstate Medical and hopes to return to work after the second dose.